Hello, so I'm going to be talking about my creation story lesson plan and I chose mine on the Blackfeet Indian Reservation because that's what I live closest to right now. So my grade level I chose was second grade and the length of this lesson is about two hours because there's like a lot of art and stuff involved. So I am going to start with the materials that we need, which you need large brown paper, lots of colors of paint, books, pencils, and then the teacher needs a computer. So my objective of this lesson plan is that students will be able to finger paint and retell and create their own story from the Blackfeet reservation like symbols that they have. Um, I will want the students to be able to retell their story with the symbols and I want them to understand that this was a way of communication many, many years ago. So the vocabulary that I would like them to learn are reservation, which is an area of land set aside for Native Americans, chief, which is the leader of a large group of people on a reservation, and then um, I also am going to talk about how Blackfeet people also speak their own language, so I'm going to teach them how to say moon, sun, and water in Blackfeet. So the background knowledge that my students will have coming into this lesson is we will have already talked about the Blackfeet tribes and how they tell stories and I will have already showed them some of the painting symbols that they have and then again I will um, show them videos of them talking in their native language but also express how they also speak fluent English now. So my guided practice, I will reintroduce the Blackfeet Indians. I will talk about their way of storytelling and how it's done in photos rather than words. I will emphasize the meaning that the earth has to them and explain that the sun, moon, and water have a greater meaning to them than they do to us. And then I will give them examples of stories and we'll um, just do stories and have them create their own. Um, so the independent practice is they'll finger paint their own story using these Blackfeet symbols and they're only required to have one, either the moon, the sun, or the water play a major role in their story. And then after they're done with that, I'll just have um, them hang it on the wall. And in my closure to tie this activity all together, I will reinforce how important these symbols were to the Blackfeet people. And I will have the class um, go through and we'll create a story um, like connecting each student's painting to each other and that way we'll have like a huge class story of what we had just put together. So I will assess these students by making sure that the sun, moon, or water play a major role and I'll make sure that their pictures flow and are organized and realistically they didn't use much color in these but um, I'll require the students to use lots of colored paints and not just one color. So that is my lesson for the creative story lesson plan.